You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Safari Limited for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Today, Elise and I are going to check out something uh, really cool. Yes. Now, I specifically contacted this company. Oh, by the way, go ahead and say what you got to say. Okay, we need to say thanks to Safari Limited for sending us these really cool sharks. Yes, I sent him an email a week or two ago and said, hey, can I get some of your cool toys for Shark Week? And they said, sure. So that cool. is really nice of them. Yeah. Now they sent me some newer ones, which are on the far left. Those are three brand new sharks over by you. Okay. And then the other sharks are part of their regular product line. Now they have every animal imaginable. And they're all highly detailed. You can find these in museums. You can find these in most stores. You yeah, can find the fun. yeah different places like that. Yeah. Zoos. Uh, very high quality, high detailed animals. All right, so we want to show the sharks. Now, you see they sent us a bunch. Mm -hmm. But we need to move these out of the way. And we want to get them out of the bag so they can breathe, right? Yeah. And we'll check them out uh, probably set by set. And then we'll do the newest ones last. All right, we are back, Elise. Are you ready to learn about sharks? Well, actually, we're not going to give you much shark information here because you got to yes. go watch Shark Week for that. And they have some really good information on their website about each shark. We're yes. just going to check out the toys themselves. Yes. Now, what is your favorite shark? I think I have to go with the lemon shark. The lemon shark. Okay, yeah. that's going to be one of the last ones we're going to check out. Okay. And then I can't say I have a favorite. I really do like the hammerhead mm. just because of his unique yeah, shape. They're but pretty cool. Right now we are going to check out the tiger shark. So grab yours. I pre-cut these so they are ready to go. Hand me the bag though. I will take the bag. Okay. Yep. And then they mm. are flexible, right? Oh yeah. Flexible tails and flexible fins. fins. All right, and then look at the top. Pretty cool. So if this was swimming it's by... Squared nose, too. Yeah, they have a squared nose. Mama. And the bottoms are white. Yeah, this is mommy and that's baby, right? <laughs> so in regards to size, this would be one of the smaller ones. But yeah, it might so. be, then this might be the medium one. And this is large. And I believe they also have extra large as well. So I'm not sure in the sharks how they uh, sort those out. Uh, but we've seen some of their other ones in previous videos. So they do get pretty big, especially on the dinosaurs. Yeah. All right, a little fin knowledge here. You have... The dorsal fin. The pectoral fins, mm -hmm. and then the pelvic fin. No, mm -hmm. well, that's not the pelvic. You're pointing to that. Oh, this, this one? one right oh, here. That one. Yeah. That one is the pelvic. And fin. then that's also a dorsal fin. Okay. And then the caudal fins are in the okay. back. All right. <laughs> and what's here? Why do they? Those are gills. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And then, yeah, pretty neat. Yeah. Of the tiger shark. <laughs> Let's set those tiger sharks back there. Oh no, did I call it a tiger shark? Yeah, tiger shark. Yeah. And then this one here is the zebra. Ooh. Oh, I thought I had this bag cut open. Hmm. That's okay. Okay, now let's look at the zebra. Check that Ooh. one out. He is awesome. Yeah, a little bit different though on the whole yeah. scale of sharks. He's a little bit more flexible on the fins and stuff. He stays on the bottom. Yeah, let's see his mouth. You can kind of tell because his mouth, the way it oh, is, yeah. almost looks like one of those Placostomus type catfish that yeah. go along the bottom looking, sucking up all the little algae. Yeah, if he's swimming around. This, this one's kind of going and circling yeah. its prey and waiting and waiting and waiting Shh, like this. Between these two, who would win the fight? Uh, probably him. Uh-huh, <laughs> that is for sure. And it, it almost looks like music notes. I don't know, I kind of looked at it and thought, hmm. Oh, yeah. It looks like music notes, but that's just the way it is. And they both have stripes, so mm -hmm. we have two kinds of striped sharks. All right, the next ones, these bags, I think, are ready. I'll give you the bigger one that time. Okay. These are the hammerheads. Ooh. One of my faves. They're pretty aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. We have two different colors of the hammerheads. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at this. Very flexible. Yeah. I think the bigger they get, the more flexible they probably yeah. are. And then your bottom the same as mine? Yep. yep. Same kind of coloring. A lighter color with the darker grays on top. Mm -hmm. 
And then uh, this one's got a little, little nicks in the end. I noticed that on this one too. Yeah. I don't know if those are natural or just from swimming around. <laughs> Meet another shark. Now between these two, uh, this would be a tough fight. Yeah. I'm not they, sure. I actually think the hammerhead might win. You think so? Yeah. They got such weird, with their eyes way out on the outside. Mm-hmm. But I think that's really interesting. Yeah, actually. it is. Yeah. He'd be swimming like this. Like that. Cruising through the water. <laughs> they might fight each other. I don't yeah. know if they're competing for food, right? Yes. Okay. And I know I didn't open these. Did you want the bigger one or the smaller one? Um, on the... You can have the bigger one. Okay. There is your great white. Mm. Now these are really cool. Yeah. Okay. The last episode I watched, everybody, was uh, last night. And that was the two guys that pretended like they were having a crash, a yes. boat crash or a boat sinking, and they sat in the water for almost two days. Awesome. That would have been scary. Yes. They did have a special protector at night with a net, but man, they were really being toyed around with those sharks. All right. Mm -hmm. This is part of the Monterey Bay mm -hmm. Aquarium. Okay, we have this tag I'm not sure what's going on. Look, mine looks like he's got his upper lip up. He's going, huh, what's going on there? <laughs> so I think I want to eat you right now. Goodbye. Now, out of all these, who would win this fight? Uh, probably the great one. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's just do a size comparison. I think he's okay. the biggest, right? Yeah. And this one. Then these two, so large, mediums, and I think all of these. This might even be like an extra small, but they even have some that are super tiny. Yeah. All right, everybody. So tell us on this grouping here. Here, put great white next to great white. We'll keep their families together. Okay. Okay, tell us on this grouping. So which one was your favorite shark? Still the lemon shark. The lemon shark. Yes. All right, so we have to check out the three newer ones that they added to the product line. We will do that next. We will be right back. Okay. All right, this guy looks to be the smallest of Ooh, all yeah. of them. This is the white tip reef shark. Okay. I think they're pretty aggressive too. Yeah, I think so. This one is the gray reef shark. Mm -hmm. They just cruise around the reef, go down to the deeper really sections, cool. and then come back up, go back to the reef looking for food. This one is the one you said you liked. The lemon shark. Yes. Ooh, he has blue eyes. I wouldn't want to get too close to find out. When all the people say is that they're very deep and black and ominous eyes in the water. They can't look into their eyes. They're looking at you and That's seeing. Right. There was one interesting episode where they were talking about... Uh, the show was about attacks that have happened. They tried to recreate them. And one of them was the person was swimming, okay? Mm -hmm. And then looked at the shark and tried to swim away. And then the shark attacked that person. Mm -hmm. So they put in uh, one of the divers. And he looked at the shark and then he turned away. And the shark, as he turned away, started swimming right. And then he turned back and then the shark just turned away Whoa. that way. Yeah, so it was really interesting to see yeah. that. Look at his fins, like how they're... Oh yeah, a little different shape on yeah, that, huh? Shape. So mine is very gray up here and light down here, very much like this one here. These two have very similar, except the tips. So I wonder if they're pretty much the same, except for that in relationship to the shark itself. Yeah, pretty much the same. He has a pointy nose. Yeah, a little bit different shape on that one. Mm -hmm. These are more rounded. That's yeah. a little wider. I don't know much about that shark, really. All right, there you go. Let me get, uh, we'll bring them all back in now, do one more quick comparison and wrap it up. All right, Elise and I are back. We are just admiring our collection of sharks. Yes. <laughs> we are lucky that they sent us so many sharks. Yes, very lucky. And uh, we got a, a hint email the other day that they're going to send us something made up mid-August of some new stuff. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, so out of all the sharks, you're sticking with the lemon shark is your favorite. Yes. I'm going to go with the hammerhead. So grab your okay. lemon shark there. Give me the hammerhead. 
Because I think we're not done playing, everybody. What if we had some fun here and just kind of played with our sharks in another scene? Do you want to do that? Of course. All right. We will be right back. Okay. The scene starts as we are checking in on the lemon shark in the deep blue sea. He's patrolling his area. Looking for something we are not sure. We've been studying this lemon shark for three days. Unsure of what his motives are as he tips over for some odd reason. And then, out of nowhere, the hammerhead appears. Sizing up the lemon shark. Ooh, he's a bigger. The lemon shark will be easy prey. I think the lemon shark is shaking from nerves. And then out of nowhere, the hammerhead attacks. Shh. The ocean is such a beautiful place. Watch as our lemon shark patrols its territory in the deep blue sea. You never know when it's going to strike or something's going to get in its distance. Such a beautiful, mesmerizing place. You also never know when Bob Ross will appear. Hmm. Maybe he wants to paint the shark. Let's see as he gets closer to the lemon shark. Oh, I guess the lemon shark does not want to be painted. So Bob Ross will leave and find a new place to do his artwork. Here we are, day three of our deep ocean blue expedition. Today we find two sharks. The tiger shark and the white tip shark seem to be playfully enjoying their time together, giving each other a two fin five, I think you would call it, I'm not sure. As the day progresses, we notice something far in the background which caught everybody's attention, never before seen. The giant Galapagos clownfish enjoying his afternoon. Let's listen in to what we hear. Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Kenny the Clownfish, ready to do a little comedy show for you today. Are you both ready? What did the fish say when he posted bail? I'm off the hook! <laughs> Come on guys, you gotta like that one. Why don't fish like basketball? Because they're afraid of the net. I'm killing them. Oh, it's a fishy world down here. Which fish can perform operations? I got you on that one too. A sturgeon fish. <laughs> Guess I have to laugh at my own jokes. Here's my last one. This is the real humdinger. What do you call a fish with two knees? Got you again? A tuny fish. Speaking of tuny fish, I'm getting kind of hungry, and you little fish look really tasty. Maybe I'll give you a little nibble, 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 nibble. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.